Hi, I'm Upamanya Moitra from Kolkata, India. It's an immense pleasure to win this award for my 100 hours of astronomy event. To be frank, it was beyond my imagination that I'd actually win this award. So I can't really express my feelings in words. Her Excellency, the President of India, awarded me in the field of creative scientific innovations. I have been a member of NASA's Saturn Observation Campaign since 2003. I won the second prize in the International Venus Express Art Contest organized by ESA and the Planetary Society. I was selected by the Government of India for a cultural and educational program in Japan. Professor Dhirananda Roy Study and Research Center tries to accomplish what Professor Dhirananda Roy did all his life. That is, making the society a better place to live in. Our organization has done significant work in terms of advancement of education and literacy. It promotes rationalism. Astronomy and science awareness events are organized regularly. The center also collects and reserves manuscripts, paintings, sculptures, artworks, antiques, natural history specimens and age-old relics. It organizes workshops, training programs on rural development, environment and ecology preservation. The center also plans to coordinate renewable energy and wasteland development programs in rural areas. The center is located in Shantipur, Nodia, West Bengal with the city office in Kolkata. When I was an infant, I cried too much. So my mother used to show me the stars and she kept me calm. That was when my relationship with the stars was established. It was my grandfather, Professor Dhirandroy, who ignited my interest in astronomy. He helped me appreciate the beauty and the unending mysteries of the universe. He always encouraged me to spread science awareness among people and help them fight superstitions. He was my main inspiration. People over here have a wonderful sky to look at, but they don't get any chance to look at the stars through a telescope. And science awareness is absent from a large part of the society and astrologers exploit people by telling them lies. So I felt that it was my duty to tell them the truth and show them how beautiful the sky is. That was also a very inspiring thought. Considering that my resources were limited, I think my event was successful. At first, I approached some local students and then involved some rural people who don't have any chance to observe the sky otherwise. In my program, I showed the sky with telescopes, I showed films, I delivered lectures, I showed live webcast, and answered people's queries. I wanted everyone to feel passionate about astronomy. That's why I referenced mythological events and everyday life in my program. People were very enthusiastic about my event. It was heartening to see that I had got so many people interested in astronomy. They wanted to know more and more about stars and planets. Most of them looked through a telescope for the first time in their life. Many of them thanked me heartily when they saw the craters of the moon and the rings of Saturn. I felt glad to have made them happy. This event was an eye-opening experience for many. It helped many people overcome various superstitions. Some students also seemed interested to pursue astronomy as a career. Some people also wanted to know more about amateur astronomy. As a whole, this event had a deep effect on the mind of the people. I'd like to thank the organizers of 100 Hours of Astronomy and all the people behind the International Year of Astronomy. And finally, I'd like to thank some people without whom I'd have been nothing. And they are...
I feel that the International Year of Astronomy is a great platform to celebrate and popularize astronomy and remember the great figures in history whose passion for science has made us what we are today. And I am proud to be a part of it. Finally, I'll express my feelings about the universe by using Rabindranath Tagore's words.